Hey, how's it going guys? And welcome to video number six of the base section of this online course. Now, what we're gonna be covering in this tutorial is how you can write in key every single time without knowing any music theory knowledge. And this is gonna to apply to you even if you do have some music theory knowledge. I'm gonna show you some ways that you can set up MIDI clips ready to go so that you don't even need to think uh, about staying in key. So, um, writing in key, for those of you that aren't aware, basically means using a set of notes that musically go well together. So we're writing in the key of F sharp minor in this example. So we want to use the F sharp minor scale of notes. And quite simply, all we need to do is Google that, find out what notes are in that scale and use just those notes. And over on this screen just here, I've Googled F sharp minor scale on piano because we're going to be putting it onto the piano roll in Ableton and we can see that if we're writing in F sharp minor these are the notes that we want to use and if we're using F or G or A uh, not A sorry A like B flat uh, and C they're going to sound weird in comparison to the rest of these notes when we're when we're playing chords and when we're playing bass lines so we just want to use the notes that are in this scale now a way that you can really easily set this up in Ableton so that you don't need to A, remember this, or B, Google it every time, is by doing this. I'm going to put in all of the notes that are in this scale into a MIDI clip in Ableton. So let's do that. So F sharp, G sharp, A, B. Let's make an empty MIDI clip just here. Open that up nice and big. Go right down to the bottom. This is where we want to start. We want to go. F sharp, G sharp, A, B, and I think it was C sharp, D and E, but I'll double check that. Yeah, C sharp, D and E, and then we're back up to F sharp, so we're not gonna put that next F sharp in, but this is the key of F sharp minor. So what I'm gonna do um, is just fill in the notes that are in the scale uh, below it, which was C sharp, D, and E but what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to hold down option or alt and then we're going to drag this F sharp up to the next F sharp so we've just copied that up I'm going to turn this blue headphone off so that we don't hear it every time uh, and essentially we're just going to keep copying this up there we go now we've copied that up as many times as we can we're going to pop that last last F sharp in and now what we've done is we've put a note We've put a MIDI note on every note in this piano roll that is in the key of F sharp minor. Now what we're going to do is we're going to press the fold button. And what this fold button is going to do is it's only going to display the notes on the left hand side here that actually have a MIDI note on the piano roll. So what that means is it's going to hide all of the notes that are out of key. So let's hit that fold button. And now we can't see any of those notes that were out of key. We can only see the ones that were in key which is fantastic. The only problem is if we save this MIDI clip, every time we play this MIDI clip, we're going to hear every single one of those notes, which is absolutely not what we want. So let's hit Command A and select all of them and drag them over to the left. Cool, so they're outside of the MIDI clip. Now let's shut this down. And what we're going to do is we're going to play this MIDI clip and you'll hear that absolutely nothing happens on the bass track. But what I can then do is I can come in here and I can simply start drawing MIDI notes in. There we go, and any note that I put into this MIDI clip, any at all, is gonna be in key. And that's a really, really easy way uh, to make yourself stay in key, even when you don't know exactly what notes off the top of your head go into the key of F sharp minor. Now, the next thing that I would do is I would rename this MIDI clip, uh, probably without these, let's get rid of these. I'd rename this MIDI clip F sharp minor, and then all you have to do is come into your user library and go into clips. Now I've made another folder in here called key clips, 
which is where I store my clips like this. But all you need to do is click and drag this into here and that's gonna save for you. I'm not gonna do it because I've already got it in there, but you just drop it in there and that's saved for you. So when you open up a new Ableton project, let's say uh, I've got a new MIDI track here. If I wanna start writing in the key of A minor, I can drag that onto there. All of the notes are folded into here and only the notes that are actually in the A minor scale are in this MIDI clip. So I can start jamming away, knowing confidently that whether I'm writing chords, uh, if I'm doing this kind of thing, or I'm doing melodies or bass lines, all of that is gonna be perfectly in key for me. So that's a really cool little hack. You can do that for every scale if you want, if you've got the time and you use them all. Um, I've only done it for the few that I use, but there you go, that's how you can perfectly stay in key without knowing music theory. So in the final video of this tutorial series, the next video, I'm gonna show you how to install a preset using Serum, and I'm gonna give you the preset that I used in this track.